My name is Priscilla Dobler Zul, and I am a textile artist. My studio space is in the E9 Brewery. I am upstairs and the brewery is downstairs. I'm in a little corner, um, but I have lots of natural light. It's a wonderful experience because there's constantly people here for me to talk to, to take breaks, but also the aromas. I'm really drawn to smell, and so the aroma of just things when they're, you know, hops or they have the fruits coming in, it just, when they're making ciders. So it's nice to be in an environment where it's just a lot of different activity going on and different people I get to meet constantly. My studio, I believe, has a very beautiful history and architectural design. I'm drawn to the ceilings and the roof, and I sometimes to take breaks, I just lay on the floor and look up and just stare at the walls or whatever it is. I mostly work with um, weaving and woodworking. I'm really interested in incorporating my Scottish and Mayan ancestry and culture of textile work into my, my own personal work. The relationship and parallels between my textile work and paintings um, all pertain to growing up in Merida, Yucatan. I would watch my grandmother weave hammocks as a child and then at the same time hear these stories that would be told during that process or my grandfather's storytelling. And they always encourage us to paint and always encourage us to work with art and then we would go to the Mayan ruins and pyramids and then look at all this beautiful detail carvings and artwork. And for me, I've always felt that the textile history and painting history pertain to each other in storytelling and how uh, oral story is kept alive. So as a textile artist transitioning to painting, it's always been very simple for me because Painting is my background. That's where I, I studied in Florence, fresco painting. I've been doing watercolor painting with my grandmother since I was nine. It's always been easy for me to pick up a paintbrush and mix colors. Um, and the transitioning is, is very simple because even when I'm picking um, cotton thread, it's, I, I've noticed that there's a very big uh, similarity between my sculptures and the colors I use, also within the paintings that I use as well. It's very bright and colorful. So I see myself here being able to create more paintings, and especially a lot of these paintings that tell a story that are in series of three to five. Um, so I do foresee myself staying here for quite some time and trying to produce as much work and taking advantage um, of the space while I can. But like everything, you know, as your work continues to grow and as the objects become bigger and bigger, um, it becomes this, um, an issue of how much space you really need and how much do you have access to. So I'm hoping um, to just be able to continue working here as much as I can and taking advantage of all the resources I have here before I start expanding into even larger paintings.